right. Um, I am sitting down and enjoying it. This is my last video of the day. I promise I'm done. So exhausted making videos. Um, I don't have the brain power. I need to give it all to my legs. But, um, so as the video says, I'm at the, sorry, I always turn around to hear things more when I'm making videos. Um, as the description says, I'm at the Oyster Creek Nuclear Facility. Uh, I guess it's in Lacey. I think it's right on the border with Barnegat, maybe. Um, I'm gonna flip the video around so you could see. I'm on actually, it's cool, it's like a pedestrian and bicyclist bridge, a bike just went by. Um, Route 9 is behind me. I don't know, let's wait for a car. Actually, we're several before. Ah, well, let's not wait for a car. Too much time will be spent. <coughs> All right, so. I'm gonna backtrack just a little bit. We can see the owners of the company. I believe it's Excelsion or something like that. Hey, Adrian Ashley. Thank you for watching in. Um, I will zoom in for you. I'm here at the nuclear facility. Exelon Generation, not to be confused with Excellent. So that's a shipping and receiving. So I'm guessing there's more. A nuclear facility is probably a pretty big deal, so there's lots of things going on. But um, this is called the Barnegat Branch Trail. So where I just was when I started the video was on this bridge. And oh, you know what? I'm seeing it now. I think that's part of the nuclear facility. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So I'll tell you the little bit I know about it, which was uh, courtesy of Wikipedia. I'm a big believer in Wikipedia. I never bought the idea that uh, free information was necessarily more pollutable than not free information. Um, I like that you can create your own articles. So anyways, on Wikipedia, I was reading that this one and one other one somewhere in upstate New York um, I believe is upstate New York, are the two oldest nuclear power plants in the country. So, and they're sister systems. They're both boiling water, which I guess was the original or the original ones that still survive. So, it means that I guess they have, you could say they have a track record of working. I don't know if other ones of the same type have had reactor meltdowns or some kind of problem. Um, but also they're older, so they're more likely and vulnerable in some ways. I'm pretty sure it's just a fission-only reactor, not a fission and fusion combination. So, and I have no idea what year it was. I can't retain that kind of information quite yet. So yeah, I think that's part of it, one of the release valves. But I guess what I would just like to say, since this water, among other things, is a uh, walk for life, water, water is life, I think that's a good message to keep driving home to people as our society ends up creating situations where water is poisoned, so therefore life is poisoned, because everywhere there's water, life finds a way to do something with it. And if you're poisoning water, even if you're boiling water like this reactor, which we may see in a moment. I'm not sure. You might just be walking on a trail with me with no, nothing, no payoff. But um, better than a nuclear payoff, so to speak. <laughs> I think that's a joke. I think a nuclear payload or something is what they say when the bomb goes off. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? So, you're boiling water, which is the type of nuclear one. This is... That's water that's not gonna be able to support life. I'm not sure if that water is recycled or if the water I just walked over is somehow some of that water. I'm sure that the water I just walked over is not water that's contaminated with uh, fissile material, radioactive material, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's higher concentrations of a little bit of radioactive nucle nuclei and things like that because humans are not perfect as we know and I'm sure our systems, no matter how great we think they are, do allow for leaks. So um, this walk 
started out against cars and is still very much against cars, but it also includes, I'm including general fossil fuel uh, awareness that we're dependent on things that aren't sustainable and that are damaging to the environment. And nuclear is also, I don't know if it's sustainable or not in, in the sense that you could keep it going for thousands of years, but it's not sustainable to the people who are killed by nuclear radiation and who die early. And the risk, it's just not worth the risk. Like, what a, what a messed up thing to be handing to the next generations. So, don't let these trees deceive you. Well, they are nice. I don't think they're trying to deceive you. But behind there is a nuclear power plant. One of two, I believe, in New Jersey. I believe the other one is sort of like between the border with Pennsylvania on the, on the Delaware River, south of Philadelphia. Um, but that's just what Wikipedia tells me. That could be all be made up. So here you see the tra uh, transistor towers, I think that's what they're called. Um, I'm guessing those go directly, I was looking for these before, so I found them. Ha! So I'm guessing they go directly to the power plant and ship out the electricity through these lines. They definitely don't look like super big, so I'm curious what happens to a lot of that energy. Maybe it's sent in the other direction, it's sent towards Philadelphia too this is heading towards the shore maybe this is a more minor line so once again the numbers grew it says that there's four to five people watching the video now oh everybody's leaving okay well whoever's here now in case you don't know where I am I'm at the Oyster Creek nuclear oh yeah you know what I labeled the video that so you do know but um, in case you don't see that yeah I'm at the Oyster Creek nuclear facility I believe it's in Lacey Township um, right on the border with whatever town south, possibly Barnegat Bay. This is all new area to me. And I'm happy that it's the first time I'm down here. I'm walking and I'm really getting to absorb kind of the land and the interaction. Let me see. I don't think the camera's going to catch it, but I see some kind of tall thing that isn't a tree out there. I think it's just a power line there. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get much more. There's fence there. Oh, it's Forked River. Thank you, Linda. But is, let me ask you this though, is Forked River like a sublet of, um, Lacey Township? Is it like a town, like one of the, like kind of like English town is in Manalpin? I don't know. I'm just curious. It doesn't really matter. But you're absolutely right, Forked River. I even knew that before goes to show you how uh, walking a lot plays with your brain. Okay. It's nice knowing that you're listening to me now, Linda, because you're responding as I talk. This is rare for me in these selfie videos. I usually just feel like I'm talking to myself. So thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get much else. Ooh, there's a truck over there. Up to no good. Causing trouble in the wood. I'm not gonna get in a fight though. Not gonna be scared. No way I'm moving to Bel Air. Alright, uh. You know, I'll just walk for a little bit. I'm gonna follow Jeff Epstein's advice, which is the longer you go. Um, oh! Good, I'm glad that security hasn't stopped me. There's always time for that. There's this truck up here, maybe they're waiting for me. Oof. Maybe they're taking a video of me. Uh -oh. <sighs> so I guess this is another exit. Nope, not a security guy, just a big scary truck. But he was looking at me as he drove by. Guess I'm a pretty suspicious looking dude, huh? See, I have camouflage backpack. Nobody can see me. I'm invisible and invincible. Oh, okay, here. I get to see a lot more now. Alright, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Gavin. Gavin also helped me out earlier, gave me some encouragement. 
hollered my name out the window. It was very nice. Uh, this is why I do it for the occasional holler out the window. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I'm looking at, other than to say they're all. Oh, there's several buildings which are all there to uh, facilitate nuclear generation. Uh oh, here's a cup coming, but I'm a citizen's reporter. I'll wave. So yeah, this is the nuclear power plant. No motor vehicles, so if I go there, I get to escape the guy. All right, if he comes here, he's violating the law. Okay. All right, I'm gonna keep walking. I'll keep the video going just in case. Uh, la policia molestame. Pero no creo. Ah, my, my Spanish is terrible. No creo problema para mí. Pero nunca sabe. You never know. So let me read, Linda. Sorry. You said, I'm emergency manager of New Egypt, Snowshin County, 30 minutes from the north. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Hit a thing. Drill there. Oh, they do like an emergency drill for like a meltdown. Oh, you do it for if, as if there was a. Is that for a meltdown, Linda? I guess that's good that there's preparedness. Um, but again, I didn't really uh, share my opinions on nuclear power. Um, I never had a coherent one formed other than there's gotta be a better way than something that could potentially be that destructive. Okay, FEMA and the state do it. Okay, that's good to know. Um, might get another peek in right here. I think this is also another driveway exit and entrance that I'll get to see something. There's somebody in a, a uh, Cadillac something or other there. I don't trust Cadillacs. I associate them with uh, wanting to kill people. All right. <laughs> All right, so here's, oh, oh, here's where they actually tell the name. They didn't tell that before. A nice peaceful bike rider walk along here and there's a nuclear station right there everything's good in the world but I guess nuclear radiation kills you without making too much noise unless it's an explosion and then your ears go away and you don't get to hear it anyways um, we are in the month of the Hiroshima and Nag Nagasaki bombing I'm gonna do reverse view. See if I can see that guy in my rear view mirror now. Okay. Nope. Staying put. <laughs> this is some of the fun of this walk. The walk isn't a whole lot of fun a lot of the time. Uh, I do have lots of time to think and imagine that people are after me. I can't zoom. Yeah, I can zoom. But yeah. I'm suspicious of that vehicle. Oh, that's interesting, Linda. Are those, um, I know I, I, I used to watch Doomsday Preppers and that certain people would have those tablets. It's interesting that they have them even though there isn't a meltdown, as if it's preventative or maybe there's a very low grade amount of release. I'm not sure. All right, a pickup truck. Just pulled onto the trail here. So we'll see if they say something.
security too. Good to know, Gavin. To tell you the truth, when I have been questioned by police officers, I almost always cough up whatever they want to hear because my body goes into survival mode and panic mode. But um, <laughs> I thought I saw that truck pull up, but it looked like the guy was sleeping, but he might have been looking down at his phone or something. So I'm not sure, because he's not there anymore either. No, no, I'm looking forward to, let me see. You're a fool. All right. There, yeah, I'm not sure. All right, so Gavin, since you're watching, should I keep making a video, or am I um, am I in the clear? Oh, hello, how are you? Did you have a question, or what? Did you have a question, or? Yeah, I wanted to know like what your name is, because we just called the police. Oh. Uh, for you walking along this thing and thinking. Photographs of uh, uh, well, I'm on public property. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. I don't, I don't know if it's yeah. legal or not. I okay, just, I just oh, it's part of well, I'm doing a live video. This is part of environmental uh, awareness. I'm doing oh, so, oh. just questioning whether nuclear energy is a good idea or not. Oh, not wow. I'm not planning on I, making it more dangerous if I'm, that's what I'm, you had I'm in mind. I'm on your side, okay, but right. I, I didn't know if you know, are, um, are, you listening to are the police coming or? Uh, <laughs> I think so. No, he's okay. So he's well, if you could just do me a favor, I mean, I'm walking that way anyways. So if you could just hang around to be here to explain, if that, if you could do that. Yes, I would. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, my name's Carlos. I'm doing this as part of a to answer your question. Um, yeah, as part of a general. Yeah. Ron Hoffman. Ron? Yeah. Yes. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm what I'm doing mainly. Um, oh, I'll let her speak. <laughs> if you want to meet me further up, I really do need to keep walking, but, um, yeah. The security right there, oh, they're following me too now. Okay. But yeah, I'll just, um, I'm going to keep walking and making the video. No, we just saw Thanks, Ron. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm glad you're being vigilant and doing what you should, you know. All right. Ocean County, yeah. <laughs> uh. I would love to have a Facebook following of the police. That would make uh, really get the word out. Actually, I'll mention this now. When I was doing the walk, the whole length of the SRL pipeline, the when, last Wednesday night, right after I'd started, a police officer pulled me over. Um, he actually zoomed by me chasing somebody who was speeding and then came back because he saw me and was wondering what I was up to. You never know, you shouldn't stereotype somebody just because they drive a Cadillac to seem like a pretty nice guy, actually. Um, so yeah, the police officer pulled me over and I told him what I was doing. I said, I'm doing a walk. I'm doing a walk um, to raise awareness about this pipeline that isn't yet filled. I'm doing it through the night to show that, you know, I'm doing one sleepless night, but if you live along this, just like living along a nuclear power plant, you might have many sleepless nights if you're truly worried of what's going to happen to you. Oh, I see the police said. Um, but the guy said, oh, didn't you do that walk? Didn't you do that walk last week? I was reading about that, and I had to delay it a week. And I said, nope, nope, I had to delay it. I'm doing it this week. So he just said, oh, well, okay, well, be safe, you know, stay up on the grass. And actually, for the next hour or so, I had the police driving by 
kind of mirror shadowing me. Not because they're worried about something I was going to do, I think, but more because of, um, because of like me getting hit or something. Hello, officer. So I'm going to keep walking. Did you, did you need to talk at all or I'm just going to keep going? Yeah. I'm just, I'm an activist. I'm making a live video stream about, you know, nuclear power, whether or not it's a good idea. Just something like that, that but right yeah, that. yeah, absolutely. So thank just, you. Just as long as, you know, obviously we're cameras aren't authorized, you know, the public's cameras, you can film whatever you want. Okay. Wait, you mean, what do you mean the cameras aren't authorized? So, um, oh. These guys have certain spots where obviously pictures can't be taken. Oh, okay. Like but that. it's, that would be on the private land. On Once I'm drive, on the trail, yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, all you want, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, you're famous now. You're on the video. All right, take care. <laughs> all right, well, we'll both be famous. Yeah, let's help each other out here. All right, take care. Right, you too. I'm not sure what 92 is, Gavin, but you might have been referring to something else. Excuse me. Ah. But, um, yeah, I wanted to say something because right now they're sending, at least the officer's still coming. Oh, they're sending somebody else. Okay. Well, I'll meet Julie too. But, um, I wanted to respond to what Summer said, um, because I'm an activist in many regards and activists do get arrested and several of them, the more radical ones, um, I'm very radical in a lot of ways, but um, this is a good, this is a opportune moment to say this. I think that the police should not be turned into another enemy or, I'm not sure if he's honking at me, um, the way a lot of activists do want to turn the police into an enemy. I believe just in the way with soldiers when there's a war, if, if the police were doing something that was wrong, um, they, the ones that were should be held accountable. But overall, I think they're one of the, re the people, the groups of people that will actually really help in the long run if the government does turn or does do things that are less and less... What's going on up there? Less and less beneficial to us. Um, so I don't know if I'd go as far as saying I love the police, but I respect them and I think that their role is fine as long as we stay good with each other, but it, at some point they might even protect us if the government does go crazy, uh, higher up levels of government, and really starts being against the people, the police might be the ones who are really able to protect us. So I don't know, I have mixed feelings on this issue because plenty of people I talk to hate the police. But um, I've had interactions, I've been at protests and rallies where I talk to them on the side and then they say things like, oh, I can't, uh, I can't give my opinion, I'm working and things like that. But, um, you know, they, they seem like humans to me and I humanize them by not just seeing them as what they're wearing, but that they are humans underneath there too. And I, uh, I haven't had any trouble with police that I didn't deserve. Um, I have been, I do have a past encounters when I was in my teens and uh, you know I deserve what was coming to me so but now I've had many interactions with the police and usually they're reasonable I explain what I'm doing if it's something out of the ordinary and uh, they say okay right on keep doing it so um, that's my perspective other people are free to have other perspectives on the police the same way people have re uh, perspectives on the military and this is my thing the soldiers who are out there fighting, they, if, if wars really do become unjust, they would be the greatest heroes by being the ones, not me, I'm just, I'm just a talking head, 
if they were the ones who rebelled against the generals and said, no, I'm not taking that order, that's wrong, that's ethically wrong, I'm not going to follow that order, um, I think they're in a position to be the most heroic group of people out there. And that's sort of what I mean with the police. If the police are suddenly put on a mission by the state, meaning the nation state, that is they know is wrong and they rebel, they mutinize, I think mutiny is a beautiful thing. Uh, because it usually happens when there's poor leadership. People don't just mutiny for the hell of it. They do it because there's something wrong. Like when there's mutiny in Vietnam, I respect those guys who risk their lives to not continue their part in a war. Even if there were good parts of the Vietnam War, there are plenty of bad parts um, that shouldn't have been doing, including being in Laos and Cambodia. So those soldiers that rebelled against their colonels, against their generals, I have the highest admiration for them. Those are the Vietnamese heroes, along with some of the Vietnamese people themselves. So anyways, just my thoughts on war and police. Uh, they're evolving thoughts. I'm not hard and stuck on any of these, but um, just to share that right now. So my interactions with the police have been pretty good, but I don't know. It could be different for other people, and I could understand that they have different opinions. Including you, Summer Jean, who loves police. Are you saying I'm a nosy body? I don't know about you. All right. All right, well, I'm, uh, I think I'm pretty much done by a liquor store. So I don't know if that means the fun is over or the fun is about to begin. Um, maybe people do the walk, check out the nuclear power plant, and then get drunk. So that's the first business I've seen on this side of the road. But I'm going to end it now. The video that is. Well, you know what? I will get up to this one thing and see what this says. False Heather. Oh, it's a bird. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's fun. Hello. How you doing? Um, it's a plant, I guess, not a bird. <laughs> I thought there was somebody who's saying their name was Heather and isn't for a second. Oh dear. All right. Um, yes, I'm on Route Nine where there's probably lots of liquor stores. Maybe that's what you're insinuating then. But, um, uh, I thought she's, I, I was trying to think, I did eat on Route 9 earlier. I ate at Bagels Are Really Good or something like that. It was in Bayville. I can't remember the name, but like it was, oh my goodness, Bagels or something. Okay, so I'm gonna, like I said, probably 10 times already, I'm signing off. Um, yeah, oh, I don't know if you're saying two prelude to tomorrow. Yeah, let me tell you, everybody, um, the Southern Reliability Link pipeline is not built. It's not even approved yet. And even if it is approved, um, there's still ways to try and stop it and delay it. But um, ahead of it even being approved and to start gathering a united front against it, tomorrow at the ShopRite in Manchester, it's a super ShopRite, in the parking lot, it's very close to the terminus. There's gonna be an event at 10 a.m. It's gonna be a rally. And right now, I don't know what the predictions of people are, but there's no real limit if we spread the word and everybody shows up, especially Manchester residents should show up because it's ending in their town. It's, uh, they're one of the few towns in Ocean County that's gonna be super affected by it. Um, and it's in their interest. Uh, excuse me, indigestion. Um, so, yeah, the details somewhere in the parking lot. I don't know exactly. I wasn't there at the other one either. Um, and I won't be able to walk up there now. I'm heading towards Cape May and to the South Jersey gas pipeline either before or after. Do a similar thing where I'm going to walk that. But um, the SRL pipeline, the vote is 
September 8th, but tomorrow might be the last public event to let the people know um, that this is not a good idea. It's not in Manchester's interest, it's not in Bergen, Ocean, or Monmouth County's interest, and it's not in the state's interest, it's not in the interest of the future generations that are inheriting this planet. So please show up and support um, the rally coming through our town against it. I will be safe, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, probably the least safe while I make these videos, my attention is divided. All right, well, I'm going to keep walking and look for some food. And yeah, so thanks for watching. All right, everybody, good night.